go ahead and uh, pick up the brush I just dropped. Uh How's it going everybody? Um, today I'll be showing you guys basically uh, the makeup that I would put on for a regular day at work. If some of you don't remember, I am in the military. So there are regulations that we have to uphold, but it's still nice to look pretty. You can wear makeup while looking professional. I'm just going to show you what I do. Personally, I would not consider myself to be someone who knows a ton about makeup, but I know like I have friends that don't ever wear makeup or they're afraid to try stuff because they don't really know what to do. Uh, they don't know what um, even to look for. So this is for y'all. I'll show you guys what I use if that's helpful. Like I remember when I first watched makeup videos, I didn't find any of that useful. I was like, I'm not gonna buy any of that stuff. But usually all of the things that I have, I just get from like the drugstore. You can get them to Walmart or whatever. It's nothing crazy. I have a couple things that are a little bit more special, but I'll just show you guys everything. Also, this is the first time I'm putting a makeup video on my YouTube channel. Let's just get going. Usually, before I put anything on my face, I want to moisturize it, so I just use Cetaphil. It's good for dry and extra dry skin, so. I even put it on my neck a little bit because a lot of times I end up putting a little bit of makeup on my neck just to make it all blend together. Sorry if I'm awkward. Next, I usually like to start with the eyes first. Uh, a bit of advice that I heard was to do all of your eyes first in case like if you're doing mascara or eyeliner or something and you mess something up and you need to remove some, it's nice to not have a bunch of face makeup already on and have to redo that, so yes. Usually I like to put a little bit of foundation first to kind of be like a primer. Anyone who actually knows anything about makeup can totally correct anything I'm saying, but sort of my outlook on it is that if you put like some sort of cream first, then it'll have, it'll be like something for powder and stuff like that to kind of hold on to and might stay longer. So I'm going to be using, I don't even know what this is. So my fiance bought me some products. Thank you very much. Those are the nicer things that I've been using, but the other stuff is just things that I got at the drugstore. So this is it. I have to like... Boom! With CC Plus and the tone I'm using is fair because I am very white. <laughs> Sorry, I'm focusing. This is gonna be long winded and whatever. There you go. You'll see how long the video is before you click it. So, all of the brushes that I have, all of them that I'm using are. Eco tools. It's really hard to see that. But anyway, these are awesome. You can find them the same place. Sorry I'm talking so much. I don't I don't know how to do these videos. This is probably way too much just for my eyelids, but here we go. Blend it all in. It's way too much, so we're just gonna spread it. Next I'm going to do some eyeshadow. This is another gift from my fiance. Made for Stars by Catrice Cosmetics. Anyway, like I don't know anything about this. It's just what it says. For military look, I'm going to avoid sparkles. You can gently have some sparkles here and there. It's not a big deal, but like generally want to avoid it. And another tip that I got from my mom was have different brushes for 
sparkly eyeshadow and not sparkly eyeshadow. I just got like two sets of the same brushes and I distinguished the sparkly ones with a little dot of nail polish. <laughs> so that's just my method. I usually start with the lightest shade and I go under the eye row. So I'm going to start with this guy. And this is a little bit sparkly, but there's some on here that are like half made of sparkles. So you just kind of play that sort of thing by ear. And I put some in my tear duct area just to have a sort of contrasting in there. And I used this smudgy brush for that. I saw some on some eyeshadow thing that it called this area here the transition because I guess it's between your brow bone and your crease. So I just go essentially like light then a little bit darker and then a little bit darker and then the darkest in the crease. You can do whatever you want. That's just my method. So I'm gonna do this one. It's almost like the color of my skin. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this pink color on my actual eyelid. Okay. And that was with this more fluffy one, by the way, for the last couple. For the crease, I'm gonna use this more bigger, fluffier one that's like for blending. And I'll also put a little bit under my eye. So I'll go ahead and do this like greenish color. I have hazel eyes, so. And like I said, I'll put a little under here. That's the eyeshadow. I'll do just a little bit of eyeliner. And today I'm gonna use brown. <laughs> this is another thing from like drugstore. It's called Tattoo Studio by Maybelline. Sometimes I'll use a liquid one, but a lot of times in the morning, I just don't really want to do all that work. I think the pencil is a little bit just quicker and easier, so I'll usually just use the pencil. But if I'm being fancy, then I'll use liquid. I'm not an artist. It's a little bit easier to get the lines to match with a pencil, I think. I put it on top. Some people go above and beyond, and they put it on the under in their eye, what's it called, their waterline on the top. I do it on the bottom, but I'm not that advanced <laughs> for the top. And then I'll do some mascara. This is Makeup Plush Volume Express. Uh, waterproof, also this is Maybelline. For me, it's, I gotta get that waterproof all the time, because I have a lot of feelings. I usually don't go too crazy with the mascara. Um, I don't like fake eyelashes personally. Uh, I've only tried them a few times and I just didn't like how they felt. For those of you who use fake eyelashes and you're just like totally comfortable with them, I give you mad props because I don't know how you do it. So those are the eyes. It's nothing, um, you know, super extreme. Then we're gonna go to your face. So using that same foundation, and you don't have to use foundation. You honestly could just stop here or, um, you know, take out any of the steps in between. Depending on like how I feel, a lot of times I'll just use a darker eyeshadow for my eyeliner because it's easier to wash off. Sometimes I just leave it like that, but if I want like my eyelashes to be dark or whatever, I'll do extra stuff. But um, sometimes I just do eyes and sometimes I just do powder, but like I said, it seems to come off a little bit quicker if you do that. So I'm gonna do some foundation. 
And I'm just copying basically the picture from the package that this brush came in. And it says it has like foundation going all over the place like this. And blend it in. I don't like to use a lot. I don't like my face to look like um, there's a thick layer on top. It could be that I just don't know how to make it look natural while having a lot, but uh, I just err on the side of caution usually. Now there's like a little something for the powder to grab onto. After that, I'm gonna use this really poofy brush. The same sort of thing with eyes. Uh, I have, this is one that is not for sparkles, and I have a different one that allows for sparkles. The powder I have I, is just from drugstore, and I got it. It's Neutrogena Loose Powder Foundation. Just put a little bit. And if I have like a lot, I just tap it. So. I don't like big wads of powder on my face. Next, I'm gonna use this um, expendable brush for like blush and contour and stuff like that. This is another one that I got from my fiance. It's called Cheek Stars. Comes with this little palette of colors and they actually really smell good too so I usually start with blush and I'm just gonna use this sugar bomb one in the middle cuz it's not really glimmery or anything so I just tap the whole thing and you get like all these different colors just tap it up here on both sides and if I usually there's just a little bit more I put a little bit and then I'll shrink this down a little bit and move to this bottom one here. And I try to gently do like a three. So like drawing a three right here. So. And usually I just poof it out and blend it all together and finally I'll just do a tiny little bit of highlighter and I never used to do this um, but now I I have highlighter so why not and I'll just use the brush that it came with this one right here I'll just swipe it very gently like there's just a little specks of highlight and then I'll just go right up here and usually I'll go a tiny bit here as well and I'll honestly just making sure that like, you don't have a bunch of color on here but I'll just blend it I mean, you could be done here. You could just, if you want, um, put on a little chapstick or have a nice, like, natural color of lipstick. And I usually prefer to do something matte. But before I go to the lips, I think I'll do the lips last. Uh, I'm gonna do some brows. This is NYX. Um, eyebrow cake powder and I also didn't know uh, until my friend told me that this white stuff is wax so what you have the color you put in to fill in your brows and then the wax like makes it all the direction you want it to be so I'll use the lighter color you usually want to do a color that's lighter than your actual eyebrows at least that's what I've been told to do otherwise you have a couple of caterpillars on you forehead. Is this actually your forehead or is it as soon as you get above 
your eyebrows. It's the forehead. I don't really know, to be honest. I took anatomy in high school, but it didn't it didn't cover that in mean, the class. I'm really not I I'm not so great with brows. I am learning. <laughs> My eyebrows look very different from each other. Maybe it's just me, but I they look very different to me. I try to make them look similar. So now I'm putting like just a little bit of this wax stuff. And I'll just smooth it out. Almost makes your eyebrows a little bit shiny. But yeah, you don't want to cake it on there. At least I don't. That doesn't sound fun to me. Okie doke. Now I will go ahead and put on some lips. I bought NYX. This is a lip liner. Usually what I do anyway is a slightly darker color than the actual lipstick I'm going to use. So what I'm going to use is this Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color. Also from pretty much, I think the same exact place. So this is like pretty natural. And it's matte, so you can put on some lip gloss as well. I have this NYX lip gloss that I would put, and it's a little bit lighter just to have a little bit of, I guess, shading or contrast. I don't, I don't know what terminology to use, but anyway, let's do this. <laughs> Trying so hard to make these the same height. <laughs> I don't even put it all the way to the middle, I just go up to the middle. Don't mind my blemishes. Uh, I'll just stick this on top. A different friend of mine, uh, when we were young, really young actually, and she was, she's more into makeup than I am, she said you're supposed to put it in the middle of your lips. I'm sure there are a lot of techniques out there. I only know what I've been told, so that's what I do. I don't want my, um, lines up here to get like smudged and then usually if I'm like rubbing my lips a bunch then it the color comes off so I want it to dry for a second once it's dry it should be it shouldn't even leave like a mark sometimes it, if I have coffee it'll have like a little bit on the very inside and usually what I like to do after I put lipstick on, it's just a little and get anything that's right in the middle and then wipe it off. <laughs> so that is the military makeup look. Um, nothing too crazy. I do enjoy creating more bold looks, so I would like to do some of those in the future, but this is kind of what I would, it's like the everyday look. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, maybe learned something, um, or maybe if you know way more than me and you're like, why would you do that? Then just write it in the comment. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe. I'll see you guys later.